Hello viewers, welcome to our channel. We are here with a new interesting video, the 10 largest chip manufacturers in the world and what they do. We hope that you will enjoy our videos and share them with your friends. So, let's start our video. Number 10, Texas Instruments. Rich Templeton is the CEO of Texas Instruments, TI, based in Dallas, Texas. Texas Instruments is one of the largest chip manufacturers in the world, which designs and manufactures chips for mobile devices, analog semiconductors, and digital signal processors. It still produces the product that made the company famous, calculators. In 1930, the company began selling oil and gas. In 1958, they started making semiconductors with tens of thousands of patents. In 1967 the company was responsible for inventing the handheld calculator. In 1970, Texas Instruments also made a single-chip microcontroller, a single piece of silicon with all the parts of a computer. The TI-81 calculator came out in 1990. In 1997 the defense part of the business was sold to Raytheon. The company held about 45,000 patents in 2016. Texas Instruments had a revenue of $18.34 billion at the end of 2021. Number 9. NVIDIA Corporation. Jensen Huang, Curtis Prem, and Chris Malachowski got the idea for NVIDIA Corporation in April 1993. It had a revenue of $16.68 billion in 2021. People know the company for making video graphics cards. These are high-end, and digital artists and gamers like to use them. NVIDIA's headquarters are in Santa Clara, California, and it is a Delaware corporation. The American company makes application programming interfaces, APIs, graphics processing units, and systems on a chip, SOX, for the automotive market and mobile computing. NVIDIA also makes hardware and software for artificial intelligence and has moved into the gaming industry. The company tried to buy Arm Limited in September 2020. This would have been one of the biggest deals to buy a semiconductor company. But in February 2022, the deal fell through because of more problems with government rules. Number 8. Broadcom Incorporated. Broadcom Incorporated is in the California city of San Jose. Tan Hocking is the head of the country. Broadcom Incorporated is an American company that designs and makes a wide range of software and hardware products that use semiconductors. They make products for software, wireless, broadband, and storage markets. Broadcom has the most interesting history of any company that makes semiconductors. A student and a professor started the business. In 1991, UCLA students Henry Nicholas and Henry Samuli started the company. By 1995, the company had moved from Westwood, California, to Irvine, California. About 11,750 people work for the company in more than 15 countries. They make both analog and digital semiconductors. They also make fiber optics, interfaces, processors, switches, and routers. The company also makes things for small home and office networks, Soho. In the year 2020, Broadcom made $23.89 billion in sales. Number 7. Micron Technology Incorporated, MU. Micron Technology was started in 1948 and had its headquarters in Boise, Idaho. Ballistics and Crucial are the brand names that the company uses to sell its commercial products. Micron Technology Incorporated is an American company that makes USB flash drives and dynamic random access memory, both ways to store data on a computer. Micron Technology focuses on making solutions for memory and storage. Their products are used in things like computers, electronics, and cars. Flash RAM is one of their main items. They also make disks that can be written on and erased. In 1984, the company went public. In 2021, the company made $28.45 billion in sales. Micron is the top semiconductor company when it comes to making DROM, dynamic random access memory, products. 
This is important as the world keeps making 5G technology better and better. Smartphones connecting to 5G networks tend to have 50% more drum than 4G phones. Number 6, Qualcomm Incorporated, Qualcomm. In July 1985, Erwin Jacobs and Andrew Viterbi started a Qualcomm company. The main office is in San Diego, which is in California. Qualcomm is both a phone company and a company that makes chips. They make services and products for wireless communication. The company is well known worldwide for its code division multiple access CDMA, technology, which it has patented. Many mobile devices use the Snapdragon chipsets that they make. The company has about 45,000 employees and is one of the largest chip makers. In 2021, Qualcomm made $33.57 billion in sales. They have subsidiaries such as Digital Fountain, SnapTrack, Wilocity, Qualcomm Innovation Center, and Ergo Networks. Snapdragon is a group of products made of semiconductors and used in mobile devices. Sometimes, the company calls Snapdragon a mobile platform. Snapdragon chips, like Android, wearable tech, and even cars, are used in many things. Number 5. Intel Corp. The headquarters of Intel Corporation, INTC, an American tech company, is in Santa Clara, California. Gordon Moore and Robert Noyce came up with the idea for Intel in July 1968. Noyce was also a big part in coming up with the idea for the microchip. Intel designs and makes motherboards chipsets, integrated circuits, and network interface controllers. Intel makes the x86 processor, which is used in most personal computers. They sell microprocessors to companies like HP, Dell, Lenovo, and Acer, which make computers. Aside from integrated circuits, they also make graphics chips, chipsets for motherboards, embedded processors, and network interface controllers. In 1971, Intel made the world's first microprocessor chip that could be sold to the public. Since 2018, Intel's sales have gone up every year. Number 4. Global Foundries. The company was started in March 2009. At the moment, their main office is in Malta, New York. Global Foundries has about 15,000 employees. Global Foundries makes chips for markets like computers, cars, and wired internet connections. The company makes chips for about 7% of the semiconductor industry. This company is the only one that makes chips and does business in the United States, the European Union, and Singapore. In October 2014, IBM said it would sell its microelectronics business to Global Foundries. In 2016, Samsung gave Global Foundries the right to use its 14 nanometers 14 LPP FinFET process. Then, in 2018, they made 12 nanometers 12 LP nodes based on how Samsung made its 14 nanometers 14 LPP chips. They said that their magnetoresistive non-volatile embedded memory production would start in February 2020. This is the first time a semiconductor company has made Redium or AM. In April 2021, the company said it was moving its global headquarters from Santa Clara, California, to Malta, New York. In 2020, the business made $6 billion in sales. Number 3, UMC. In 1980, United Microelectronics Corporation, UMC, began. The company's main office is in Shinshu, Taiwan, in the Shinshu Science Park. UMC has 12 manufacturing plants and about 20,000 employees. Stan Hung is in charge right now. Their website says that in 2021, the company will make $7.7 billion. Industrial Technology Research Institute created United Microelectronics Corporation in May 1980. The new company was officially started and was the first private integrated circuit business in Taiwan. The company was officially listed on the Taiwan Stock Exchange in 1985. At that time, Morris Chang was the head of the group. UMC is best known for making integrated circuits and for its business in semiconductors. 
It is one of the biggest chip makers and a big car business supplier. In 2000, they were the first company to use copper processing technology to make chips. The company, Mia Fujitsu Semiconductor, was bought by them in 2019. Number 2, Samsung Electronics. In January 1969, Samsung Electronics, SEC, was started in the South Korean city of Suwon. Samsung Electronics is one of the largest companies in the world that makes chips. SEC has sales offices and assembly plants in 74 countries, and about 290,000 people work for the company. Since 2006, SEC has made more TVs than any other company worldwide. Since 2011, it has been the world leader in making mobile phones. It is known for its tablet computers, especially the Android-powered Samsung Galaxy Tab. Under the brand name Samsung Galaxy, they make their line of devices. The company also makes robots, medical devices, computer hardware, and appliances for the home. Nokia, Sony, Apple, and HTC are among their clients. Samsung makes 17% of all the semiconductor chips in the world. In 2021, Samsung Electronics made a total of 279.6 trillion Korean won, which is a lot of money. Number 1, TSMC. The Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, the biggest and most valuable semiconductor maker in the world, is based in Taiwan. Morris Chang started TSMC in Taiwan in 1987. Chang left his job at the company after 31 years. Since 1993, TSMC has been listed on the Taiwan Stock Exchange, and since 1997, it has also been listed on the New York Stock Exchange. TSMC makes 11,617 products right now and uses 281 process technologies. In 2020, the company that made chips made $45.51 billion in sales. As of December 2021, 54% of the world semiconductor chips came from TSMC. TSMC is one of the biggest chip makers in the world because it makes chips for companies like Intel and Apple. TSMC is the sixth most valuable company in the world. Due to the shortage of chips, TSMC has made more money than ever in 2022 and is planning to grow in 2023. Thanks friends for watching our videos. Please tell us in comment box that how much you liked our videos. For more videos please like, comment and share our videos.